The unique Pinel butterfly cuff is able to secure a limb simply and very quickly. When applying the cuff, firmly hold the gray tab at the end of the black portion. Strike as close to the wrist as possible, angle slightly away from the wrist, push firmly downward, then apply the white portion. Remember, black first, then white. The cuff should be slightly crossed following the slope of the arm, similar to applying a bandage on a sloped limb. This cuff closing procedure is most often done urgently and under high stress. It must be done as a reflex action and therefore requires frequent practice. Work with a partner, approaching the wrist from different angles. At the initial phase of restraining, the most important task is to lock the limb quickly. Accuracy is less important. Adjustments can be made later. The most common error in applying the butterfly cuff is trying to align the cuff into a perfect tube shape as you would with any of the restraints currently available. Not only does it take too much effort in stressful situations to do this, it also opens a significant gap near the hand, making it easy for patients to pull out of the cuff. It also creates a tight spot on the thickest part of the wrist where it cuts off circulation. Although the gap is often checked with two fingers to ensure that no circulation is cut off, Pinnell disagrees strongly with this practice. Instead, we encourage the butterfly approach, which eliminates the gap and ensures even pressure of the cuff across the wrist so that it will unlikely cut off circulation. What happens if the angle made during attachment is too large? The result is that it not only reduces the amount of binding Velcro, but also allows too much cuff material to be targeted and ripped apart by the patient. To counteract this, Pinnell provides a smaller security strap to cover the Velcro cuff for additional holding strength and to prevent undoing the Velcro. One method is to allow free limb movement, yet prevent the cuff from being torn apart with teeth. The shorter strap is passed over the cuff, through the opposite buckle, and pulled back over the cuff. It is now locked into position by a pin and button. Ensure that the security strap wraps around the cuff tightly without cutting off circulation. Notice that there is an additional buckle open if you would like to use an additional strap for triangulation. Another method for emergency restraining is to pass the strap over the cuff and through the buckle. The strap can then be attached to the opposite strap coming from the other limb. Every time the patient pulls, the cuff tightens. But when the patient relaxes, the cuff pressure relaxes as well. There is little chance of cutting off blood circulation. The joint straps across the pelvis also prevent the patient from bucking or porpoising. Always ensure that your Velcro surfaces are in good condition, particularly the black surface, which could be clogged with debris. This weakens the Velcro hold significantly. Although the universal cuff should have enough Velcro overlap to secure an average limb, there could be exceptionally sized ankles that are too large for the cuff closure. In this case, use the overlapping strap for the extra size and lock with the pin and button. Once the patient is secured and with the assistance of another staff member, open the cuff, remove any material under the cuff, and readjust.